and understanding that this event is the first annual event for the Eddie Mello organization, Eddie Mello, and the money going to youth at risk. I think they deserve a big hand, don't they? Come on. And I'll hand the mic over to, I'll hand the mic over to uh, Jesse. Okay, everybody. So, um... I hope you're all enjoying your night so far. I just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about why we're here tonight in addition to honoring Eddie the Hurricane Mello. As you know, Eddie was given the opportunity at a young age to come and start training at Sully's Gym by Sully O'Sullivan with Patsy Fern as one of his first trainers there. It was a true gift for Eddie and his younger brother Joey as well as others like Nikki Furlano and Joe Popeye Ballerino who all came from very humble beginnings and did not have any extra to pay for the gym fees because so because Sully believed in them and wanted to make sure they stayed off the streets he opened his heart and his gym to them so they stay on the right track especially at such impressionable youngsters at 14 Travis Sugden became his trainer and continued to train him throughout his pro years Travis took Eddie under his wing and treated him like family Sully's is where his introduction to boxing first occurred and it has always remained like a second home to him as many of you here can relate throughout many years Eddie volunteered his time and money and various charities and supported children and he felt strongly about giving all kids a chance and giving them hope to succeed at whatever their passion was regardless of their uh, socio-economic circumstances or their physical capabilities at the time like I mentioned earlier kids loved Eddie they were drawn to him like a bee to a flower and once they learned a bit more about him and where he came from, it allowed them to be optimistic and realize their potential. That someone who grew up like they are now was able to push through life's obstacles and overcome anything that was put in their way and to come out on top and to be successful in life just as Eddie had done. After an unexpected and untimely passing of my dad, I knew shortly after that I wanted to do something to honor him and to keep his memory alive in the hearts and minds of future generations as well as his friends and fans and to keep his name held in a positive light and not associated with the horrific manner in which is the reason he isn't here. But as you can imagine it just wasn't the time so with so much going on I really wanted to give it my all and to make sure my head, heart and soul were fully invested in it and to make it a huge success as it was a representation of my dad. Fast forward 16 years and here we are today. I bounced the idea off my T. Joe and was not the least bit surprised when he was fully on board and, like me, wanted to jump in with both feet. The reason behind it is simple. It was to create a legacy organization in memory of Eddie. I'm his legacy, Joey, my kids, his friends, his fans, everybody here tonight. We are all his legacy and those that we can help empower to achieve their dreams. And so the initiative, the Eddie Mello Legacy Organization, was born. Secondly, I wanted something that would embody things that were important to Eddie, which was boxing, youth, and encouraging kids to stay on the right path and out of trouble. The third is my dark reality, which is losing a parent to a homicide. 
being in this situation myself, there's very limited resources for children in this position. And I found this both disappointing and outrageous. And this needs to change. No child should ever be denied the opportunity to obtain a post-secondary education or have to give up on a sport or fine art because they can no longer afford it after the murder of a parent. It's already the biggest loss that they will ever endure without having to give up on something that gave them joy and can help them cope and get through the very dark days that occur. So with many exciting conversations back and forth from BC to Toronto, Joey and I decided to put this all into motion in memory of Eddie, doing what he would be doing still to this day if he was here, which is being involved in the boxing community, guiding young people and giving back. The basis to support young at-risk amateur boxers with boxing equipment, trophies, plaques, Trophies and plaques at amateur cards, which would be donated on behalf of the Eddie Mello Legacy organization, as well as some cash prizes and any other incidentals that may occur based on each boxer. We will help to succeed in the sport that they enjoy and that we have love in our hearts. With the other aspect of this cause, we'll be selecting a child or children in the same family who have lost their parent to a murder and by helping them support them fulfill their post-secondary education goals or sport or fine art aspirations. And this will also vary on their circumstances. In the recent death of Tim Haig, um, this made it clear that this organization is needed. We'd like to support Tim's young son by contributing a gift towards his post-secondary education. The boxing community is a tight-knit one, and we're all here to help and support this young boy even after his father passed doing what he was passionate about, and that was being in the ring. We believe in helping to empower these children and youth and to show them to never give up and continue to fight through life and to come out on top. And we'll see these kids do great things in the future. This is only possible thanks to all of you here tonight. On behalf of Joey and myself, I'd like to Thank you from the deepest depths of our hearts and soul for being here and supporting us and making this dream become a reality to honor and remember my dad, Eddie, and to have him continue to live on in those that are involved with his legacy organization as the recipients, supporters, uh, contributors. I'd also especially like to thank the following people uh, for their generosity and support because without you this wouldn't be able to be the great success that we know it will be today and touch as many lives as we can. To Mr. Russ Amber who couldn't be here tonight unfortunately I'm so grateful that he's for his always touching and beautiful words about my dad and the stories he shares from experience with him. You're highly accomplished and respected in the boxing world and we thank you for taking the time um, Russ is being extremely generous and going above and beyond and donating gear on the individual needs from his hugely respected and successful brand of rival fight gear. To the legendary Mr. Spider Jones. Words cannot express how blessed we are to have you as our main man on the mic. The MC with the most style and grace I've ever seen. You had a long, wonderful, mutually respected relationship with my dad since he was nine years old. And it's an honor to have you here tonight to speak about your longtime friend and to have you be a part of this event. As I know helping youth is what drives you every day and you're incredibly passionate about what you do with these kids to help them succeed and not get lost in the streets. To the incredible food sponsors, Sanigan's Meat Locker, Don Balanza, Louis Savoia, Royalty Produce, True Scott Italian Bakery, and of course our amazing caterer, Amira from Mira Mira Catering. Thank you all for putting tonight together our tonight's amazing spread. A huge shout out and thank you to all the people that were purchasing tickets or were generous with donating items to raffle off to raise some more money for these kids. Massimo Capra from Capra's Kitchen, Paula from Mistura, Vito from Mayday Malone's, Tom from Tom's Place, and Chico from Cast Aluminum and Copper, my cousin Roger Dutra from Dutra Landscaping, Vinny at Vinny's Panini, and our cousin Jamie Mello, for, and all the gentlemen from the United Brotherhood of Carpenters. Also, Mr. John McRae from GJ McRae Foundation and Ashley Burton, who was doing 50-50. She has got an incredible package with yoga for you guys. Uh, Carling Jackson from Humanity, from Humanity Art. She's got a beautiful, uh, one-of-a-kind canvas downstairs. Dom Galati at Cafe Piccolino. To Mr. Damien Ocposio, if you don't know this incredible man, you need to. He has single-handedly spearheading the Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame. He is here for Ontario legends and up-and-coming fighters.
to gain them the recognition they so deeply deserve, as well as Below the Belt Boxing Magazine and a popular webcast with Dio Boxing Show, as well as teaching kids various life skills, doing promotions and management. He also has a very full plate and he has made time to come and support and donate. So thank you, Damien. To the incredible bands here tonight, thank you so much. You're amazing and you're rocking the boat. Thank you for your talent and your energy. To my T. Joe, you've been on board with me in creating this since day one. We had a vision, I had a vision, and we made it appear in real life. You've had my back, been my partner in this, and pushed me to go past my limitations, showing me I'm more than capable than what I give myself credit for. Dad would be so proud of Team J. Mello. Together, we're unstoppable. To my husband, Tyson, thank you for everything you've done in the many months as I've been busy planning and organizing everything for tonight. You're my rock. You've lifted me up when I felt like giving up, kept me back on track, and your support and love is unwavering and truly unconditional, and I can't tell you how lucky I am to have you, so thank you. To Dom Galati, thank you for being here with Joey and I throughout all the planning, organizing, finalizing the great event, being there whenever I needed you, and all your time and efforts. We are beyond grateful to have you on this journey with us. And to everybody else that's shown up here, all the other boxers and everything, I'm so grateful. Um, and to family and friends, thank you for putting up with me in all the beautiful chaos that surrounds me. And last but certainly not least, um, from all the people that came near and far to show your love and support, this night would not have been possible without you, and it truly means the world. Thank you for being a part of the Eddie Mello Legacy Organization. We will see you at this second year, and most definitely at events throughout the summer. Um, at Rocky Balboa said it best, in the boxing ring of life, it's not how hard you can hit, but rather how many times you can hit and keep moving forward. So I hope you've all enjoyed the night. And I appreciate you all so much for coming out and taking the time. So cheers, and we'll do the raffle and prizes and everything shortly. So hopefully everybody can go home with stuff. Thank you.